In 1938, Marjorie Kinnan Rawlings published The Yearling, which went on to win the Pulitzer Prize in 1939. The novel was edited by Maxwell Perkins, known for his work with F. Scott Fitzgerald and Ernest Hemingway. The story revolves around Jody Baxter and his family's struggles as they face floods, plague, and death in their remote home called Baxter's Island in northern Florida during the 1870s. Jody forms a tender bond with an orphaned fawn, which becomes a significant part of his life. The novel became a bestseller and gained international popularity, being translated into 29 languages. It was adapted into a feature-length film by MGM in 1949, with Gregory Peck starring as Penny. In 1965, The Yearling was turned into a Broadway musical, and in 1994, RHI produced a made-for-television movie on CBS based on the novel. Penny, Ora, and Jody Baxter live a challenging life, struggling to produce enough food for themselves. Ora remains distant, having already lost six children before Jody was born. Despite his love for his son, Penny is unable to defy his wife's strict rule against having a pet, leaving Jody feeling lonely and longing for a companion. Their neighbors, the Foresters, have an assortment of wild pets, including a boy named Fodderwing who captivates Jody with his menagerie. While Ora despises the Foresters, Jody enjoys spending time with Fodderwing. After an unsuccessful hunt for the legendary bear, Old Slewfoot, Penny and Jody head to the Foresters to trade a hunting dog for a new rifle. Armed with his new weapon, Penny shoots a deer, and together with Jody, they visit Volusia, the nearest town, to trade meat and visit Grandma Hutto. Despite not being blood-related, Grandma Hutto played a significant role in Jody and Ora's lives while Penny was away fighting in the Civil War. Although she adores the Baxter men, tensions arise between her and Ora. Oliver, Grandma Hutto's son, is a seaman whom Jody idolizes. He returns home with gifts for the family, but trouble ensues when Lem Forrester, who also has feelings for a girl named Twink, gets involved in a fight with Oliver and Penny. Jody intervenes to protect Oliver, but the encounter changes his perspective on his idol. As conflicts with the Foresters escalate, the Baxters face more hardships. Lem steals their pigs, and a rattlesnake bite leaves Penny in danger. To save him, Jody is forced to leave behind an orphaned fawn, causing him great sorrow. Millwheel Forrester accompanies Jody to find the fawn, which they decide to name Flag as per Fodderwing's suggestion. However, Fodderwing falls ill and dies before he can meet the fawn. The family faces additional challenges when a storm hits, causing flooding and ruining their crops. The wild animals become afflicted with a plague from tainted floodwater, adding to their struggles. To make ends meet, Penny and Jody embark on a hunt for big game, selling bear cubs alive in the market to secure much-needed money for supplies and Christmas gifts. With the shortage of game, wolves become a threat to the homesteads, and the foresters take action to protect their land. Jody worries for the safety of Flag as the fawn grows and may attract potential predators. The Baxters endure a series of trials, but their love for each other and their tenacity help them face the challenges that life throws their way. As Christmas draws near, the Baxters plan to celebrate the festivities in Volusia along with Grandma Hutto. Despite the plague, Old Slewfoot survives and continues to cause trouble, killing the Baxters' new calf. In response, Penny and Jody set out on a two-day hunt to track down and kill the bear. With the help of the foresters, they transport the bear's carcass back to their cabin, where Buck wears the bearskin to the Christmas party and scares the attendees. Amidst the celebrations, news arrives that Oliver has returned to town, but the foresters mysteriously disappear. When Grandma Hutto rushes home to find Oliver, her house is found on fire. Although the foresters are suspected, Grandma Hutto takes the blame to prevent Oliver from getting into another fight with Lem. Oliver and Twink get married and move to Boston, taking Grandma Hutto with them. As spring approaches, Penny plans to plant supplemental crops to earn extra money. However, as Flag grows, he becomes wilder and destroys the shoots, creating challenges for the family. Penny's health deteriorates due to arthritis and a groin injury sustained while working in the field. Jody tries to help by building a fence around the fields and replanting corn, but Flag continues to cause damage. Penny decides that Flag must be killed to protect their livelihood. However, when he asks Jody to do it, the young boy refuses. 
In desperation, Jody seeks help from the foresters, but they are not around until April. As Flag continues to destroy crops, Aura shoots him, but the deer is only wounded. Jody has to chase Flag to end his suffering. Overwhelmed with emotions and anger towards his family, Jody runs away and attempts to paddle a canoe to Jacksonville. However, he collapses from hunger and exhaustion and is rescued by a male boat. Broken and full of remorse, Jody returns home and pleads for his father's forgiveness. He goes to bed grieving the loss of his beloved deer, Flag. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.